Today we will begin a unit on artificial intelligence or AI. What's an example of AI either in your personal life or that you've seen in a movie or a book? So I want you to go to your assignment document, go to the warm up and type an answer. So think about an example of AI either in your own life or something you've seen or heard about in a movie or book. Artificial intelligence is used in a lot of different places in our lives, from facial recognition in our phones to personal recommendations when we browse the web, and even in driverless cars. The next week or so, we're going to focus on a specific type of artificial intelligence called machine learning. My name is Ale Flores, and I'm a product manager at Alexa. My name is Dr. Chelsea Haupt. I work at the Allen Institute for Artificial Intelligence, and I work on an AI-powered academic search engine. All around you, computers are making decisions, and those decisions affect your daily life. When you do an internet search or scroll through your newsfeed, computers decide what you see. Computers can already recognize your face, and understand your voice. And soon they'll be driving cars and detecting diseases even better than humans. So how is any of this possible? You may have heard about something called AI, or artificial intelligence. True artificial intelligence is decades away. But there's a type of AI called machine learning that is here today. It's a type of AI you probably interact with every day without even knowing it and it has the opportunity to help us tackle some of the world's biggest challenges. Machine learning is how computers recognize patterns and make decisions without being explicitly programmed. What's so exciting is that it's a completely different way to program a computer than what we've ever done before. With machine learning, instead of programming a computer step by step, you can program a computer to learn just like you learn, through trial and error and lots of practice. Learning comes from experience, and that's true for machine learning too. In this case, experience means lots and lots of data. Machine learning can take in any kind of data, images, video, audio, or text, and begin to recognize patterns in that data. Once it learns to recognize patterns in the data, it can also learn to make predictions based on those patterns. Like noticing the difference between an image of a car and an image of a bicycle. AI and machine learning are playing a bigger and bigger role in society at large and shaping all of our futures. That's why it's so important to learn how it works with some hands-on experience. You're about to get the chance to train your own machine learning model. Remember, AI is like any tool. First you get the knowledge, then you get the power. So here's a key vocabulary word that we're going to need for this unit, machine learning how computers recognize patterns and make decisions without being explicitly programmed. Machine learning helps us solve important problems in society. In the next week or so, we'll learn how we can create our own machine learning apps to solve problems. To help accomplish our goals, we will use the problem solving process, which is define, prepare, try, reflect, and always empathize. Let's take a look at how these steps appear in machine learning in particular. So here is the problem solving process. We've seen this before. And so the first thing is to define what problem are you trying to solve? And then we prepare what data do you want to use? Then we try it out, train the model, and then we reflect. So how well did it do? Can we improve it? And then we're going to start the cycle over again. So now what problem are we solving? Data, train, and reflect. And then 
that are overarching is the empathize. What is the impact on society? Who is included or who is excluded? Our question of the day, so some, something for you to keep in mind as we work on this lesson, how can we use the problem solving process to help solve a problem with machine learning? We're gonna do three activities for this lesson. And so what you need is your lesson. The activity guide is in the lesson and you need your laptop. So you're gonna click on the link in your lesson to go to Code Studio Lesson 1, Level 2. And the name of this activity is Recognizing Fish Features. In today's activity, we're going to use machine learning to help a robot clean up the ocean and learn how to identify fish. We'll give it lots of examples of fish, give it time to learn from those examples, and then see how well it does in cleaning up the ocean. We will complete the first level together. We will train the AI bot to recognize whether an object is a fish or not. As we do, fill out the slide in your lesson for level two. Garbage dumped in the water affects marine life. In this activity, you will program or train AI to identify fish or trash. Let's clean up the ocean. You can do this on your own computer as I do it together with the class. Let's meet AI. AI does not know if an object is a fish or trash, but it can process images and identify patterns. To program AI, use the buttons to label an image as fish or not fish. The training you provide will teach AI to recognize patterns on its own. Let's get started. But before we do, go to your lesson, and we're going to fill out the first part. So what is our goal? Our goal is to um, help the AI bot recognize fish so it can clean up the ocean. So our goal is to help AI recognize fish so he can clean up the ocean. What kind of data do you have? We're going to have pictures. So images of fish and not fish. And then under the try part, how are you labeling your data? We're labeling it, labeling it as not fish or fish. And you can type that in here, one side on the, not, on the slash, so not fish. And then come on the other side of the slash and we're gonna type in the, so we just have two choices. It's either a fish or not a fish. Now we're going to do the training and then you can come back and fill in these last two slots. So you can see our options are not fish and fish. Let's get started. So is this a fish? We would click on fish. Is this a fish? I would say not a fish. This is not a fish. This is a fish. Then we have, we'll have some facts pop up just to help us know about uh, environmental issues. So you are programming or training AI with each clip. Keep going. So this one, fish, fish, fish. Facts. AI learns from your choices. If you make wrong choices, AI will repeat your mistakes. So we really want to be careful. There's, there is human error that can come in play when we are teaching a machine. Great work. The more data you provide AI, the more it learns. Keep training IA or continue when ready. Now, when you get this pop-up message, that means that we have used 30 images already. So that's a pretty good start. If we want to test it right now, I can come back to my assignment and I've done 30 images so far. Now we can do more than 30, but we can start with 30 and type in that number. And then we're going to test it. So I'm going to click continue. You can see up here, it's also telling me 
in the upper right hand corner that we've got 30 fish that we have 30 images that we have trained the robot with. So I'm going to continue. Now let's see if AI knows what a fish looks like. Now I'm going to count 20 times. So we want to see how many it gets right out of 20. So I'm going to click run and we're going to count 20. AI will analyze a random set of objects and label them based on your training. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, so how many did it get right out of four? This is the section right here. You can see with the check. These are the ones that it identified as fish. So you can count them. How many did it get right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it looks like 14 out of 20 were correctly identified. And I click on this other one, the ones that it missed. If we wanted AI bot to become better at recognizing fish, how do you think we could do it? We could help it do that. So think about that and let's maybe have some discussion. How could we make the rope, the AI bot do even better? Now we're going to go to the next level, which is our second activity. So click on your bubble and go to level three, and this is going to be, a similar activity, but we're going to go not just a fish or not a fish, but what type of fish. So you're going to navigate to level one, lesson one, level three, choose a feature you want to train AI bot to recognize. Record this information on the slide for level three. And we're not going to do this one together. So you have an idea of how this works and you'll try this one on your own. So you have six choices. You can choose to train the robot that means the AI bot either with green, red or blue, or circular, triangular, rectangular. So you can choose a shape or you can choose a color. Pick one of these six. And then you're going to fill in your assignment. We're going to go to the next slide. What type of fish are you training? So you'll type your answer there. What kind of data do you have? We have images of fish again. And then how are you going to label your data? So let's think about that. And how many images do you want to train with? I would say you want to do at least 30. And you can choose to do more. So we're going to hit continue. We're going to go on to level three. You're going to pick one of these. So I'm just going to pick um, a, a shape, but you're going to pick whichever of these six that you want. Let's teach AI a new word by showing it examples of that type of fish. So I'm going to pick circular. So you can see what I'm labeling mine as not circular or circular. So you can think, what would you do? I could say blue or not blue, rectangle or not rectangle. Okay, so you're going to have your two different ways of labeling your data. And then you're going to go ahead and train it. And then you're going to test it and you'll test for 20 images and see how many they got right. So you can pause this video, do that part, and then we'll talk about these last two questions together.